Yobos, this is we the play. Can you tell there's something wrong? Anything at all? Yes. I'm playing with absolutely no sound. So, here is my post commentary on Pokemon Legends Arceus. The next episode, the one where I go to the volcano. Because guess what? When I can't record something, when I suddenly stop a Let's Play, if it's not laziness, it's because of technical issues like this. So, uh, you can see my face over there. There is absolutely no volume, and that was done on purpose, because this is a time when I couldn't actually record. But I am impatient to a T, and I absolutely just need to play more of the game. So, I decided I was going to record this episode without the original commentary. I was just going to be dead silent the entire time with the headphones on, and I was just going to have to put on commentary after recording this. Also, shoutouts to the low battery thing again. So, like I said, I am on my way to get to the volcano. I'm using a fire type against a water type. Feels bad, man. You can tell by my face that I knew I screwed up. Also, I was trying to catch the man tyke, not bail it, so there's that. And, uh, this is the part where I learn how much harder it is to actually catch Pokemon while on the water. I don't necessarily have as much accuracy. However, if I'm jumping with Basta Legion, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to showcase it. Time slows down, and that makes it easier to catch the Pokemon in the water. Heck, I've spammed it just to catch some alpha water types without them seeing me. I've, I've done some crazy things. Now, I don't know why exactly I just slapped my face like I'm in a V8 commercial again. But maybe I'll be able to tell you about that later. Right now, I'm just farming for materials. You know, the good stuff. The stuff that really matters in one of these videos, especially since I'm not... <laughs> ...recording the commentary for it. I love how that teeny little box stopped my progress altogether. Well... I did not use the Pokeball again, so rip the dream. I mean, at least I'm not using a fire type, but I am determined to just catch the Pokemon. Uh... <laughs> Still didn't switch the Pokeballs, by the way, but you know what? I gave up on that. It's like, fine. If my Float Cell Cove wants to battle, let her battle. Why do I care? I only messed up this approach two to three times already. So, we're gonna let Cove defeat that man type. Perfect. I'm pretty sure I wanted to catch it, but whatever. Also, there are quite a bit of Pokemon that can evolve right now. Gave the thumbs up. That that really makes me feel assured. But I have a feeling that I'm trying to earn those evolutions. I don't remember if I said this in the previous episode, especially since I haven't watched that episode in a while. But one of the Pokemon, one of them, I'm going to wait to evolve until I can defeat whatever boss there is supposed to be here. Remember, this is the place where there is no noble Pokemon. Also, that was an Alpha Gyarados. You are lucky you didn't actually catch that thing's attention. Oh, 
Oh, but that's a new Pokemon. What do we got? A Quillfish. A brand new regional Quillfish. My first time seeing one. I think I'm trying to look it up in the Pokedex, see a bigger picture of it. Perfect. There we go. It definitely looks angrier, but the uh, monochrome coloring leaves a lot to be desired. But there we go! I found a brand new regional form. I could tell my past self's pretty impressed with myself. And straight into it like a noob. I think I even saw myself wince there. No, don't go through the tentacle. Don't go through any of those. Just keep going. Get out of there. Those Pokemon are targeting you. But hey, I found another one of those flames. That's definitely going to be for a spirit tomb, by the way. Currently, I have not gotten that spirit tomb yet. And I think I've gotten all the wisp. I think they're wisp. I called my Typhlosion wisp. Not the one that I'm using in this Let's Play, but one that I might be using for future content. Oh, I know what's gonna happen, maybe. Maybe. I'm trying to find the entrance to the mountain, but I think it's pretty safe to say I may have gone the wrong way. But, this might come with something that's gonna make me pretty darn happy. First off, we got those treasure chests. No, I will not try to break them. I just think they're part of the landscape. But to be honest, I guess I'm just kind of getting my memories crossed because that's not what I remember happening. Oh dear. You got to the edge of the screen. In fact, <laughs> I think I'm seeing a completely different area that I could go to, but I'm not necessarily supposed to. Yeah, go right there. That's where the cursor is, me. Ah, that's what it was. So, it's Kulava himself. Himself? Yeah, himself. I know what Hizuian Typhlosion looks like. Yeah, go back to that island, silly. But I want to earn the right. To evolve Quillava into an Azuian Typhlosion by defeating whatever the threat is here. And I'm not going to say exactly what it is, maybe some of you can guess it, but I'm going to try to stay mute on the point because I'm trying to keep the element of surprise, more or less. Just know there is a boss, which is already kind of a spoiler by itself. But I digress. Time for Brandon to go up a mountain. Good thing I got Floatzel in to find my party because it's gonna get steaming hot. But first, cutscene. Phew, Fire Spit Island. It's certainly hot enough to feel like a sweat bath, isn't it? And now we've got ghosts and bandits to deal with on top of the heat? Oh, I'm very sorry, but do you think you could lead the way, Brandon? That poor Growlithe. I don't dare imagine what those bandits are doing to him now. And yet, I can already envision it in my head. By the way, I'll try to cut out my face during cutscenes. But we'll just see what happens. Okay, we've got a Graveler. Let's try to catch it. No, that wasn't the right thing to do. And now the Graveler's gonna pound me in the dust. But not before I try to defeat it. Let's go, Cove. Let's use a strong Aqua Jet. Which, by the way, I'm never going to acknowledge this, but anytime you use a... 
one of those special variations, a strong attack or a weak attack, it takes two power points, two PP, out of the Pokemon. So instead of using one PP, you're using two PP. I'm gonna stop saying PP now. It's something I've just been trying to avoid doing. But Growlithe! Growlithe. Why Growlithe? Graveler has been caught. But I have a feeling that that's not the only Pokemon around here. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, well, apparently I'm going to find that Wisp. I'm just going to keep calling them Wisp from now on. Oh, they are Wisp. Sorry, I didn't know. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. Steer yourself right back around because I'm not touching that lava. As far as I know, that could be insta-death. There's Magmar. Messed up on that. I'm just attracting all the Magmar. It's going very, very poorly. Just run. Just run, Brandon. Just run. I saw that one moving. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. Nope, just keep going. Let's go. It's time to take on the Chanja Han. Time to take Misfortune down a few knots. But I'm gonna have to prepare. First, I'll revive King because I was dumb enough not to revive and heal my Pokemon before going this direction. And we'll use a potion on Cove, potion on Avia, a potion, of course, on King, I think, maybe. Okay, Super Potion. That's smarter, I think. Or no? What am I doing? Woohoo! You gotta do something. Am I just gonna try to use a bunch of orange berries? Because I can't. I only have three of them. So yeah, Potion Up King. There we go. There's a lot of Pokemon that could evolve, but... Once again, we're gonna earn the right to. Let's see... How well this works. Save the game because you never know what's going to happen. And begin the cutscene. While listening to this very awesome, ominous music. Here we go. Gandak! Come on, evolve already! We've done our homework! Pokemon gutsy enough to come to this lava trap is supposed to evolve! So get with it already! You will become stronger, like it or not. Bro! No, Growlithe, don't! Stop! Oh look, the pest again. Stand back, sisters. I'll take care of her. Go, Obama Snow! Smash this fool to pieces! Obama what? That better be a Hazui in Obama Snow. Otherwise, it's gonna be very, very disappointing. You used an ice type. In a volcano. You know what? I can't show you. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna look at the screen. I'm not gonna commentate on this disaster. I will say this much. I probably should have used my Kulava. Oh, I got destroyed. Probably Wood Hammer, so I guess the real question is who's the real dummy here? Because I lost my water type! I lost my water type! I may need to face off against the fire Pokemon there. I lost the water type! But at the same time, how was I supposed to know she was going to use an Obama Snow of all things? So this actually got more serious. This is going to be a very, very uphill battle. I don't get it! How did I lose? Use an Obama Snow. What else can I say? Okay. Let's do this. No! A bomb of snow can't fight at full power in crazy heat like this! It wasn't if that was your fault! 
We were basically going easy on you. In fact, how dare you make poor Bomber Snow bow in such a stupidly hot place? You're the one who sent out Bomber Snow, sister. Go on then, Toxicoke. Pour out some po poison for our guests. Do I really have the... Yes. Cool. I gotta fight two of them. Probably three. Well, they're really pulling me to the ringer. And let me give you a quick hint. I haven't used any grit dust. Rift! No! My poor Eevee! No! Eevee! Eevee! I don't know why I said Eevee twice, but no! Quick, use Agile style. Get some chip damage. Wow, I really did mean chip damage, huh? Yeah, no! <laughs> By the way, I named, uh, Sylvie. <laughs> that was a spoiler that wasn't supposed to come out. I named my Eevee Rift because it was an Eevee that I got from one of those distortion stores. I may have already told you the title. But I'm trying to figure out what evolution I'm going to get Rift to be. I would say it would be either be an Espeon, an Umbreon, or a Sylveon. Guess which one it is. By the way, I am losing badly. This Toxic Coke's destroying me. That makes me wish I had... I don't know, some ground-type Pokemon? Of course, it's Psychic, but I think Toxicoke's also Dark-style. Dark-type. Oh, no. This is really not going well. My back is really against the wall right now. Okay, we need a strong-style aerial ace. Right. <laughs> By the way, that dark type thing, whether or not you call that a joke, was wrong. Toxic Hook is also a uh, fighting type. It's poison and fighting. What a blundering mistake that was! I didn't even get to read the dialogue. I guess I lose the coin toss sometimes. I did warn you, didn't I, that I had scored a cell with the Galaxy team? All the pain and suffering I experienced after coming up here from the Kanto region to work, I'm going to make you pay for every last slight. Kanto region. Nope, I'm too dumb to know if she is an ancestor to someone. Heck, I still don't know. There were some people I didn't even think of. Like, one of the sisters is definitely Grimsley. I'll let you decide which one, but one of them is definitely Grimsley. So, I've lost Cove, I've lost Rift, I think I've lost, uh, Fighter. My... Machop that I'm trying to use. But we're gonna heal Cove up because... I would not make it if I didn't, as far as I know. Because King's the electric type, ground types will destroy King. And then whatever the other Pokemon is, yeah, that won't work either. So, Ko, strong style Aqua Jet. No, I got still alive! I'm actually sweating, probably because of the computer screen. This is bad. But I'm also swaying just because of me watching this bow. I... I forgot how bad this first part got. Alright, I'm just gonna keep reviving Cove. That is my strategy. It is a terrible strategy. It is not a strategy of someone that should keep the best in mind for their Pokemon, but... This is the only way I'm going to get through this. So... I could just use regular quick attack, and I'll be able to get another attack off. Too bad the stealth rocks kind of destroyed that 
opportunity. So, back to Cove. Or King? I have no idea what my plan here is. Okay, cool! Uh, oh, that's what I'm doing. So, King's going to be another sacrifice so I can heal another Pokemon. I would say Fighter. Heal Fighter, yes. Because you could take down that Rhydon with a punch, being a Rock-type Pokémon, part Rock-type. It will be super effective. So reluctantly, I did that. We're just going to put the Prey Hands up for my Luck Prey, who had to take an L because I really wasn't prepared for this, of all things. I am going to need to do a lot of grinding after this episode. Because... Yeah, let's do it, Cove! Yes! Python is down! Thank Arceus! Might be a little too early to say that, by the way. But we still got Gengar. I kind of probably forgot about the Gengar... This is, this is not good. This is really not good. And fighter! Fighter! Yeah, no, fighter. That, that will work. That will work. So fighting type moves are not effective against ghost types. Granted, ghost types are not effective against fighting types, but come on. You think this Gengar only has ghost type moves? It's also part psychic. If I remember right. So, uh... This is gonna be fun. I need to take another L. Sorry, fighter. Rest in peace until we can get you healed up. Alright, so I healed Avia just because... He, she, it has a ghost-type move. And I'm really just going to rely on that. Okay, luckily I had another attack that takes care of Gengar. Get bodied. Get out of here. I never want to see you again. Thank goodness it's over. What a disgrace. Sheesh, that was Hard to watch. Uh, how could all of us have been? Hey, Charm! I healed up a bomb of snow and coins Toxicoak so we could keep battling until we run out of potions! You know, like he did! Bro! What? Hey, no one invite you, Tiny. You're really going to insist on getting in the way, you little runt? Oh! Take him down, Toxicloak! I know it's hot, but hang in there, Bomber Snow! Smash that runt! No, don't touch the cute little small Growlithe! Please stop! You cannot beat such foes! P Paulina! What are you doing here? I thought you were weighing with Lil Growlithe. I was, but then he jumped into the ocean without warning and swam all the way here. A fire and rock type did what? But he was terrified of the ocean after it swallowed up the former lord, his own father. The twist. <laughs> Hello. I suspect something kind of cool is going to happen. Woo! Alright, what's going to... He's evolving! He's evolving! Of course he's evolving! But guess what? He's on our side! Hello, his Zuian Arcanine, the late Lord's child. He's evolved. 
His true bravery lay not in crossing sea, but in finding the strength to face hardship head on. You gotta be joking me! Why'd the puny one evolve? Uh, sisters, something's not right. Keep switching between a guy and a girl's voice, but I already know it's female. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! No! No, no, no! It was so close! Great. Now the cute little puppers are frenzied Pokemon. Fan bloody tastic. What? Polina, stay back! to him that strange lightning hit him he's become frenzied just like the other nobles oh this is exactly why i didn't want to come to this island i think i'm mixing up the characters but nice growl ugh everything was going just as we wanted before that awful mutt ruined everything enough of this sisters we leave this place we won't be making a living with our lives without our lives we'll get you two and your stupid dog hey wait this is your fault we should get out of here too pauline otherwise we're fair game for arcanine come on brandon we should hurry are you kidding me no okay fine We'll just step out just a little bit. Lena! Oh, wait. Lena! What are you going to do about Growlithe? I, I mean, Arcanine! That dear little Pokemon is my responsibility. As his warden, it is my duty to protect him. As his warden... I still have to protect him. Brandon, what must we do to quell his fin frenzy? Please tell us what we need. Uh, probably some more of those herbal balls. Oh, bombs. I meant bombs. Bombs? Rita, what are you talking about? I'm the leader of our clan. Isn't it so surprising that I know a little more about these things than you do, Lena? I held my tongue for the first time. But now I must insist, stop calling me Lena in front of everyone. And yes, I'm well aware that you're the Leah, Rita. How could I forget that you were the one chosen? You, who can use your Celestica flute to summon Pokemon and have them carry you to even the farthest reaches of Vasazui. I've learned a little about these frenzies as well. There's a special method for dealing with them. We can make bombs, pouches containing a mix of the Lord's favorite foods, and throw them from a safe distance. Isn't that right, Brandon? Yep. Hmm. Well, uh, in that case, I do always carry some of Growlithe's favorite foods with me, so I can thank him when he uses his flames to help prepare Basque Legion's favorite meal. Why, Eskin, once again your thoughtfulness saves the day. Now we can make those bombs right away. Yes, let's get right to work. They're ready. Here are the bombs we need. Please let me know when you feel prepared to quell Lord Arcanine's frenzy. Wrong character again. Also, shout out to the models just kind of showing up. For just a second. Let's go! As I just quietly voiced. Let's freaking go. But let's go heal our Pokemon first. We're definitely going to need Cove. So throw that revive right down on Cove. As well as the other Pokemon. We have no more revives left. So if I mess up here... There's nothing I can do. I have barely survived a few times. I've 
great. The very moment of blacking out, or whiting out, however you want to say it. But I have not failed yet, and I'm not going to fail here. In fact, it's time to evolve some Pokemon. It's time to give myself a true fighting chance against Frenzied Arcanine. So, we've got Avia evolving into Star Raptor. I'm not sure if I want to evolve Rift, though, because I don't know what she's gonna turn into, but... Here we go! Or not. Never mind. <laughs> I guess I'm not gonna do it. Never mind. That was a fake out. But I'm not evolving my Quilava until I can beat this Arcanine. It is a rite of passage! Oh. Okay, guess I'm evolving Eevee after all. Here we go! Try to be surprised! It is a Sylveon! In fact, I think it's harder to get Espeon and Umbreon on this game. Unless you find them in one of those distortion storms. But you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy my Eevee turned into a Sylveon. So let's beat these guys! Er, dog. Let's beat the dog. Don't come after me, Peter. I'm one person. <laughs> Are you ready, Brandon? Heck yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Brandon, please do your utmost to save my dear Arcanine. He may have finally become a lord, but it's clear this frenzy is causing him to suffer greatly. Beyond your guard, the late Lord Arcanine would launch devastating attacks after standing still and gathering light from around himself. Remember that while your dodging moves will slip right past you. Good luck. Here we go. We already know who the frenzied Pokemon is. All that matters is that I defeat the Lord of the Isles, Arcanine. Lord Arcanine. Well, not even a minute in, and he's already so strong. Yikes! Okay, dodge those extreme speed quick attack things. That was close. Good job, good job. Throw those bombs. Okay, dodge, dodge, dodge. Nice. The good news is it seems like there's an invisible wall keeping me from hitting the lava. I'm not sure if the person playing the game right now is aware of that. Okay, you're gonna need the... You're gonna need... Uh, dodge? Is that gonna work? I'll give you one answer. No. No, it didn't work. So, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna figure this out myself. When he's doing that, you need to hit him with bombs. That's the only way you're going to stop that attack. Otherwise, it is going to hit you every time. Yikes, that wasn't good. Oh, dear! Okay, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there! Jeez, I'm getting nervous just looking. Yep, that's getting me the fireballs. He's stunned. Go, Pokeball! Whew! Where are you, Poe? Okay, there you are. Okay, so I already know it's a fire and rock type. Why am I... Why... Okay. I guess I'm trying to figure out if quick attack will hit twice. Pretend to do that. But we'll just use one aqua jet. Oh, Arcanine's gonna use agile style. Oh, oh no, Cove is down. Cove is down! I repeat, Cove is down! The one Pokemon I was gonna use for this! 
We still got Fighter, but, uh... With my luck, I don't think this is gonna go well. well let's just keep going. Okay, we are going to use a Agile-style bullet punch. That'll do a teeny bit of damage, but... What's better is it will give me... Another attack, and I will absolutely use apparently a strong style mock punch. So I'm not messing around here. Yes! Alright! Throw those bombs! Throw them quick, 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 quick! Alright, we are at the halfway point. So. Okay, I might be a little stuck. Ah! Mm, okay, okay, no, no, oh dear. Okay, don't, don't go in there. I'm actually stuck. I'm actually, no, no, no. Just stop! Oh no! I lost! Everything went black, black, black. That sucked. <laughs> My first legit loss. Alright, battling Arcanine. When Arcanine starts building up energy, that means he's prepared to unleash a devastating pillar of pillar flames that's impossible to evade. Him with as many bombs as you can during this phase. Yeah, I, I gathered that. But will I attempt to bow again? Uh, nope, I'm gonna admit defeat, because I'm not ready. Oh good, it's raining. It's an almond. It says you were rescued! Yay, we did not die! Freaking terrific. Yeah, this didn't go well. At all. So, flash forward... I definitely trained off screen. And I'm ready to just take this thing down. I'm ready to move on with the story. I'm more than ready to finish this Let's Play. That's not the volcano, you dwit. Oh, but I did find something very interesting and possibly spoiler. -y. These strange... Markings. What could they be? Some of them look like Pokemon. Heck, one of them looks like a heat man. Is there an answer to this? There probably is, but I don't think I have it. So... Just something to keep in mind. I think I went the wrong direction. My... Joy-Con is still absolutely lying to me. Yeah, the volcano's over there. You silly goose. But I'm going to attempt to take on Arcanine again. I can only assume that I actually trained a little bit more this time. Again, I did not use Grit Dust. I can promise you that because there's something else coming up later where, uh... You can tell I didn't get Grit Dust, but you know what? Forget! Forget the trial! We are evolving Equilava now into a Hizuian Explosion! Look at my boy! Look at my boy! Look at my boy! I love my boy! I love him! I love Hizuian Typhlosion! Maybe I'm overselling it a little bit, but I will say this much! I found out about this Pokemon before it was officially revealed. Yes, someone spoiled it. Someone absolutely spoiled it. I didn't realize it at first until I started seeing repeated posts. It was like, oh, well, I think that's what Hizui and Typhlosion looks like. But here's the thing. I was going to pick Quilava anyway. Sorry. I was going to pick Cyndaquil anyways as my starter. I thought about Rallet, but I had already used Rallet on Pokemon Sun. 
I want to use a different Pokemon. I want this to be a different start. I want this to be a whole new chapter. So, regardless of the fact that I love his Zillion type loading design, I was going to pick Cyndaquil anyway. Just trust me on this. Back to the battle at hand. I like that I'm not focusing on the Arcanine while dodging. That was awful. I would have dodged right away. Although I think that's what I did, so. I think I did time that right. This is bad already. What? Yikes! No! I didn't even see the control of the camera. That was so bad. That was so bad. Dodge again. Okay, here we go. Here's my chance. But I guess I'm going to get past the halfway part first. Alright, Co. Round two. You are level 41 now. No, I didn't talk about levels, but... I definitely did a little bit to give myself a chance. Yes! That one attack took down Arcanine. I might make this look a whole lot easier than I did during my first battle. But I am absolutely serious. Oh, the flames. Out of the flames. Get out of the flames. I'm gonna die again. I am as serious as I possibly can be about trying to beat this noble. Open it would being trying. I'm so close. I'm so oh, geez, that was close. Okay. Alright, we're good. But it's still in the red. I don't think it's gonna go out of red at all. So one more hit and I'm dead. Come on, come on, come on. You just need to hit Yes! Oh the relief! Throw that bomb! Throw it with pride! I didn't even need his Zillion Typhlosion, but it is over. Whew, what a heated match. And I say heated because I'm still sweating. Not from the volcano. Look! The strange light has left Arcanine and is vanishing into the space-time rift? Notice I said space and time in the same sentence, I'm just saying. Alright, we received the flame plate from Lord Arcanine. What could possibly lie on the other side of the rift, I wonder? Arcanine? What? Was that two different Arcanine cries just now? Ah! I saw that. I saw that. The previous Lord is watching down. Now I understand. My little Growlithe. Ah, uh, no, I misspoke. Lord of the Isles, Arcanine. You and I must now live apart so that we may attend to our separate duties. Oh, we're gonna have the feels again. Oh. Now, now, all will be well. You're strong. Far stronger than me, in fact. I mean, you are a Pokemon, so. From now on, let us each strive to fulfill our duties as Lord and Warden. Now go, Lord Arcanine. Your realm awaits. gone. Um, was I the only one who felt like they heard the cry of the previous Lord Arcanine earlier? Oh, how odd. I certainly didn't. Wink, wink. But please, I do hope you're joking. I'm easily scared as it is. What am I to do if I start hearing the cries of ghosts all the time? 
No need to worry, Iskin. I only kid. That was the ghost the entire time. I also heard the voice of the previous lord. It seems I wasn't the only one watching over this young pup this whole time. Brandon, you have my heartfelt thanks for helping my dear little one, the new Lord Orcanine. I'm sorry to ask even more of you, but please look after Avida as well. Mm -hmm. Now then, Eskin, I believe we'd best be off. Mm -hmm. Phew! Brandon, I wasn't much help just watching from the sidelines. You know when Lena couldn't write... Raise Growlithe to be the new lord and people of our clan were doubting her fitness as a warden? I urged her to put Growlithe through the proper training, but she snapped at me. This poor Pokemon saw his own father die, she told me. Isn't it a warden's duty to force a child in such pain through that training? Those words left me with much to consider. And even when Ark and I became Lord of the Isles and grew frenzied, all I could do was watch. That's not true. What about the bombs? I said both. Please, all I did was arrive late and help explain about the bombs. Something you could have done without me. Is that so praiseworthy? Do I deserve to be recognized for such a slight contribution? I took on leadership of the Pearl Clan so young with no grand vision for what it should be. Still, I tried to respect our old customs and sights, even as some called me old-fashioned for it. But watching you, I finally see. I know what I want to do. I want to protect this vast land of Hizui. Grant me another bow someday, Brandon. I want to bow alongside my partner, so we can both grow strong enough to be of help to you, and to broaden the horizons of the world I see. Mm -hmm. Looks like I've got Lena to thank for yet another lesson that I've learned. I shall let her know, and hear more about her relationship with Warden Eskin while I'm at it. Ooh, scandalous. Here's where we part now for Br- I, we need to get out of here. It's too hot. It's too hot. It's melting our brains. It's too hot. Oh, thank goodness it's done. Or is it? Because I still see a long time gap from the end of the video to now. So, uh, stay tuned. I think there's still a little bit more to, uh, highlight and talk about. But for right now... We're gonna just warp our way over to the professor. And then I am going to run that away. Do you have a reason to go this way, Brandon? I hope it's not the face off against that thing, because I don't think you're ready for it. Well, there was a spiel. Spiel deal. Good, good job, me. Oh! Okay, well, we got someone to talk to. What's your deal? Hey, you there, Survey Corpse Kid! The Construction Corpse is busier than ever these days. We don't have enough labor to handle everything, so, uh, could you find some Pokemon? Pokemon called Machop? You have one of those? I don't have the faintest idea how to go catching such Pokemon. First thing to do is to learn more about the Machoke. I said Machop, but there's also one right behind you. Did you complete Machoke's entry? So it likes green, huh? And it certainly would be a perfect addition. Off he goes. I don't know why I'm recording this, but... <laughs> behind you the alpha thanks to you I was able able to catch a ma choke I can't I can't keep doing this I'm choking as it is 
Mortal! You know, the recent exploits of the survey course is what inspired me to go at the Pokemon in the first place. Keep up the good work. Good job. Awesome. Can we go back to the story now? Apparently I have too much grit dust. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to do with all of it. Well, I can, uh, try to catch. I said catch! Oh! Hey, Flare! Awesome! My Hazurian Typhlosion! That was probably what this was about. To show off the grand flames of this fire and ghost type Pokemon. It's time for your first bow as Hazurian Typhlosion, Flare. Good job. You are welcomed in this team with open arms. Also, apparently, they're gonna fight a Burmy. Good thing you're still a fire type. Burn the bug! Perfect! Good job! Are we gonna also talk? Yes, we are. Hi there! Hi! Uh, nice. <laughs> Uh, the bond between trainer, human, and Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to say no for now because I was a pretty big wuss when I was first doing this game. But, uh... Pretty cool that I found a... Alpha Machop. Pretty cool. Alright, let's... Climb more mountains we probably shouldn't be able to climb. Perfect. Good job. Alright, we need to get back to the survey corpse. We'll take a quick rest, heal the Pokemon, maybe drop off some items because it's me. I know what I do. Or not. We'll talk to Leviathan. I probably just butchered his name and called him something completely different. Lavington! And we will head back to whatever the darn town's called. I already forgot. We'll head back to the Survey Corps. You quelled Lord Arcanine? Let's tell Commander Kamado the good news then, shall we? Okay, off we go to the city. I already forgot what it's called. Not city. The village. Jubilee Village. See? Obviously. <laughs> it seems like myself forgot it too. Awesome. You know, considering... Okay, I'm being real here. Considering I want to start off the next episode in a new location, we're just going to get this long-winded thing out of the way done now. And I really do mean long-winded. I'm still seeing that time-lapse. Alright, we got ourselves another star. Jeez. <laughs> Looking at that, it looks so empty now. Because guess what? Future me has already gotten my 10th star. But, for now, you have the 5th star. You can now use Wing Balls. Level 65 Pokemon will obey you without question. And you will get more money. Just so we can waste it for more space in our stupid satchel. I don't like that, by the way. That, that person gets scummy. Very scummy. After a while. Sorry, I'm not saying the lines of... Or, uh, person here, leader, not necessarily leader, but you get it. Also, we have, uh, someone over here. Machoke's been great! That's probably the same guy. Yeah, that's the same exact guy from the beach, Cobalt. Not Cavern, but. Alright, let's do this. Cutscene. You did well on your mission in the Cobalt Coastlands. That's what I meant to say. Your efforts there aided not only the Galaxy Team, but the Pearl Clan as well. 
I do hope your efforts will also have an impact on the space-time rift somehow. We are able to get rid of that rift. It should clear any lingering doubts about your origins. Though how we might actually close the rift, I haven't the slightest idea. Hmm. Remain true to the mission. The Lordless Island complete. Time for some more potato mochi! Definitely not sick of that by now. If you notice that today's potato mochi tastes a bit different, well, that's because I used the Pokemon's flame to roast them. Bon appetit, it's still potato mochi. So you know what? Thanks. The birth of the new Lord Pokemon. What a sight that must have been. If only I had journeyed to Fire Spit Island to witness the event myself. Could you even ride on Basque Legion in the first place, Professor? Come now, you know my coordination is so poor I couldn't even hit my own foot with the Pokeball. Oh dear, let's talk about that. And I can't dodge Pokemon attacks to quite literally save my own skin. Of course I can't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Basque Legion. But that being said, we do all do well to remember these wise words. The ever-striving soul is reward in the inn, and strive I shall, for the sake of my research. I will surely ride the Pokémon one day, and record the experience in our Pokédex for all posterity. Just you watch. Uh, you might need to... Uh, you might need to... I can't say it. I can't say it. I know what's in my head right now, but I can't say it. I may be bold, but I'm not rude. Hello! Good morning, young lady who came from the sky. <laughs> that looks like a very familiar face. Very familiar. Commander Kamado told me to let you know he awaits your arrival in his office. Ingo? Indigo? It's Ingo, by the way. Are you a... Oh, well. Brandon, I have your next orders. You must go to Coronet Highlands to quell another frenzied noble. Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. We're going to Coronet now? Electrode has a possibility to store up electricity in its body, then unleash it. But since Electrode became frenzied, those electrical outbursts have become giant blasts. Huh. I'll be enlisting the Pearl Clan's aid in securing your safe passage to Electrode's seat. I've sent word ahead to Avita. N no! You don't have permission to go up there! Oh, no! Oh, save it! As if I'll be stopping by the likes of you now out of my way! Oh, guys, guess what? Guess what? It's someone I'm not sure I'm going to like that I will think is a girl first. Hey-ho, boss man, Kamado! You slipped your mind to send me an invite, so I just took off and just decided to do whatever the heck I wanted to. Melly, where are your manners? We're having an important conversation. Well, there's your issue right there, Adam, and how exactly did you intend to discuss Electra without me? It's Mighty Warden, here the way in. Yes, I know it's a male, shut up. There's no more to discuss. We've already asked Brandon to quell the... Frenzy. Oh, come on! Is it me you're trying to humiliate here or entire clan? Besides, do you really think this flimsy little noodle can quell Electrode? Commander, I'm sincerely sorry for this heedless interruption. Pay it no mind. It seems even Survey Corps personnel I trained myself cannot stop one so capable as Warden and Melly. That being said, yes? It is clear that the security corps needs even further rounds of training from me later. Oof. 
Hear that, Melly? The security corps will sob themselves to sleep tonight thanks to you. The Commander Sumo's moves can send even boulders flying. Hmph. She seems likable. Now, now. Just... You have yours! See to it, Electrodes Quelled! No more of this foolhardiness! Of course, we would appreciate your help if you have anything to assist with, Melly. No, oh, no, I'm sure us girlfriends are gonna... Just... Go well together like peaches and pie. Like Reese's and... Milk. <laughs> Listen, Melly, the Galaxy team... Well, at least Brandon is amazing and will prove it. Follow me outside. Alright, let's just get to the door. Perfect. Alright! We are ready! I think. Why not? <laughs> let's go see what this Leafeon's about. Alright, Brandon. Go around with me. Of course. Let's go. You bet! No? No me? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Melly, make sure you watch closely now! Hmm. I'm still gonna act like a woman even though I'm too stubborn of a man to be actually... Whatever. I thought Melly was a female to begin with. Oh, hi, random Evie. Thank you for showing up to this battle. All right, Wisp, let's do this. I say we take down Leafeon first. That's not Leafeon, is it? Oh, there he is. Sorry, I see the male sign. Fortunately, that did not do the trick. All right, well, try that one again. Agile style! Pick up! Leafeon's down! That just leaves the cute little evil who's trying to kill me with kindness. Sorry, not in this game! We show no mercy in this place. Oh. Even I can tell. <laughs> Bum. Okay, I don't know what happened. Oh! Oh, cool! I was able to stun Eevee or get a third attack off or something. I don't know. The battle's decided. It's over. We defeated Adamin and his Leafeon. Interesting he has a Leafeon. You see how good Brandon is now, yes? No more sneering at her. Hmm. <laughs> Now, I think our helper from the Pearl Clan was going to see you at the train grounds once you're ready. Till later, Brandon. Glad to have your help, as always. Melly, shift yourself unless you want to get even more of an earful than you've already due for. Aw, oh, come on, Adamin. Cut me some slack here. Yep. What a friend. Join me in the Survey Corps' office. We'll go over the particulars of this mission. Cool. More padding. Awesome. Your survey work will take you to M the Coronet Highlands next. I almost said Mount Coronet. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what pearls await. Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronet Highlands but you will need help from a particular person to survey and ultimately quell the Electro. Tell me it's not Melly! Go to the training grounds. You'll find that person there. Okay, yep, let's just... Let's just pad the game longer! To the training grounds! Why? <laughs> you can even tell myself is just done with all this. Oh good, more people. What am I good do at this rate? I'll make a real fool of myself. Oh, you're one of those kids. Well, you might be the person I actually need help with. 
My boy Colin and I were planning to go to Prelude Beach at night, but ghosts scared the daylights out of me. Or uh, my, my son, I mean. Uh, we could have called it a day, but you know a fella can't be scared of ghosts forever. It's too tragic for my boy, I mean. So I studied up on ghosts, and I'd like you to tell me about Ghastly. So... Let me know when you have some useful information about Ghastly. I'm just trying to skip through some of this, and honestly, now that I think about it, I'm probably supposed to skip this segment, but... Nope! I'm not gonna do that. You get the full darn experience. The good news is, it's almost over. So, off to the training ground. No, I really don't have anything else to talk about. I already said my dumb community question, so I can't pad out the episode like that. You're just going to have to enjoy this walking simulator. There's no one here. Also, Earth the uh, Brinton. This is not the training ground. Can you see the icon on the screen? You just made this longer. Oh. I'm going to go get some water. Are we there yet? Good! And look at our friend over here. I look forward to conducting... research? Hello, Brandon! Hello! Hi! This gentleman is Warden Ingo. Ingo! Who serves Sneasler. He will guide you to a domain. The Indo the real pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for this abrupt how do you do? I am the warden Ingo. I understand you'll need help from Sneezler in order to meet Electrode. Where she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the jury. Now let's have a safe jury in the Mount Cornet. All aboard! Ingo's a bit like you, you know. How so? He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to have lost its way down the tracks. Ingo, apparently from this timeline, now exists in past his zooey. Let's just... Come on, bring out those pictures. I want you to post links to all those pictures of Ingo being separate, separated from his brother. I know they exist. I've seen them on Twitter. But that's that's it for this episode. Next time, we go to the Cornet Highlands. And you will hear my regular commentary again. This was the last thing I needed to do for Pokemon Legends Arceus, and I'm so happy it's done! So all I gotta do is edit it all together. I will catch you later. Thanks for watching! Bye! <laughs> now let's do this for real. This has been Wii to Play! I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Take care out there, and I will catch you later.